Back in the 1960s, these folks working at the Broyhill factory in Lenoir, North Carolina, produced some really great work. While today the work that they produce doesn't necessarily stand out, back in 1960, inspired by this guy, Oscar Niemeyer out of Brazil, who designed all the beautiful and incredible buildings in Brasilia, Brazil, recently skateboarded by Pedro Barros, the folks at Broyhill took Oscar's work as inspiration and, and produced the Broyhill Brasilia collection. Today, Garnish is basically a complete mid-century dream. The Brasilia collection was everything you could ask for in a furniture collection. It's from credenzas to tables and chairs, the collection was simply incredible. Today, one of these mid-century gems fetches up to $2,000 American for a credenza, which is why today I've built this. My own Broyhill inspired Credenza, uh, of course, made with recycled skateboards. We're gonna go through the process of building this thing together, and I'm gonna talk a bit about uh, prices, breakdowns, and uh, all the things after that. So I hope you enjoy. section of the legs done. I'm basically going to trace this onto three other legs and then cut those out and then basically cut out my stretchers and attach them all together and I'll have my leg assembly. So yeah, let's make that happen. <laughs> Just 
Dirty, then this, 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 this,
and pry at the pry at the plywood itself, which caused a bit of delamination here and there. So if I were to do it again, the drawer fronts themselves, I think I would have made it out of actual walnut. Other than that, I'm fairly stoked on it. As a first time making a drawer and everything like that, I think it's gonna be sweet uh, in my new home. Uh, it's definitely unique. I think it effectively comes off with the whole effect uh, that the Broyhill Brasilia collection kind of gives you. Of course, it's not you know a piece of the actual collection itself, but but it's mine and uh, yeah, as with anything, it's just super fun to experiment and to try it out and to, uh, and to produce something like this. So yeah, thanks so much for checking this out and uh, all the best. Take it easy out there.